Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try this Progresso Spicy Jambalaya with Sausage and Ham. This one is the Spice It Up variety. It's new. Uh, we bought this at Walmart. It was $1.68. You can see the heat meter is way over here on hot, so I'm going to probably just kill over and die. Um, there's what it looks like. And again, pretty cheap. $1.68, I think that's pretty, pretty cheap, personally. Uh, let's see. Two servings per container, one cup is 130 calories, or eat the whole can for 280, which isn't bad at all. Um, ingredients, Tammy will have a picture of all that stuff. Um, da -da 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 no artificial colors, flavors, it's cool. So you can heat this up on the stove, of course, if you want to, just put it in a pan to heat it up. I'm going to put it in the microwave, um, like always. So we're going to heat in a covered microwavable bowl on high for two to four minutes. I think about three minutes will be fine for me. Um, carefully leave in microwave one minute, stir, and then refrigerate your leftovers. So I have a, just a big bowl here. I'm going to stick it in. Um, if you were doing this at home, you could pull it, you could pour it out into your bowl and take it to work before you leave, or you can, uh, take the can, whatever way you want to do it. So it's not as thick as I was, I don't know why I was expecting it to be thick, but it's not very thick. It may thicken up, um, as it microwaves, but so you can see there's a can. Um, quite a bit of rice. I saw some sausage in there, things like that. So I'm gonna get this, uh, I'm gonna cover it up with a paper towel and get it in the microwave because it will splatter. Uh, but anyway, I'll be back when it comes out. All right, so here it is out of the microwave and I haven't stirred it or anything yet. Um, looks pretty good. It didn't really necessarily thicken up. It's still soup. It's not like a stew, but um, lots of rice, lots of sausage in there. Tomatoes, peppers, yeah. So I'm going to let this cool off because it's it's literally boiling hot and uh, I'll be back when it comes out or when it's cooled off and that's not going to fall in there. So that's good. I'll be right back. Okay. So um, I did a poll while this is cooling off. It was still very, very hot. Um, I did a poll because um, people were recommending that I do the camera like further back on the table to where you could see me and the food. And it was just, it was pushed further back um, basically. So it was further away from me, but you could see the food. So I got comments saying, you know, can you do it this way? So I did a poll and under the community page and 59% to 41 said that they liked them just the way they are, keep them the way that, that I've always been doing them. So I'm doing them the same way. Um, that poll is now closed. It's deleted. You won't be able to find it. I promise you it was 59 to 41. I wouldn't lie to you. Uh, but um, the way I do them right now is, is how people prefer them. The reason I've always done them this way is, first of all, I started out in my office where it was very close to me anyway. I'd only had so much room to work with in my office. And um, I always make sure I show the food before I bring it over to the table. The food is, I'm not doing anything to the food that's different than what you saw it on the countertop before I bring it over here. I'm not doing anything different to it except sticking a spoon or a fork into it. So it's not changing at all. So, um, so don't think I'm doing anything weird to it or it's a different meal or anything like that. It's always the same meal. Um, my soup bowl is right here. There it is. Um, so it's the exact same thing. So being further away just, just takes you further away from me if, if you ask me. So anyway, so this is how I'm going to keep doing the videos just like this. And uh, thank you for everyone that filled out the poll. I really appreciate it. So here we go. It should be cool all enough. I've got some sausage. I've got peppers. I've got tomatoes. I usually try to show you a little bit if I can there's the bite. I don't know if it's focused or not. I can't tell. My eyes don't focus that far away anyway. This one, oh yeah. Wow. That'll blow the top of your head off. It's so hot. Ooh -wee. For the people that enjoy food this hot, I don't understand it. I just don't get it. Um, maybe your, your mouth is so used to it that um that you just don't even notice it but wow that's hot um let me just try just the rice and the the soup part because i'm wondering if the sausage was hot i bet you it's throughout the whole thing but your whole mouth just gets on fire this is kind of like um uh flaming hot cheetos flaming hot chips uh, doritos all that kind of thing this is almost at that level of flaming hot Not as bad in the soup. Let me try a piece of sausage by itself. Sausage is pretty hot. I think that's where most of the heat at, is at is in the, the, um, the sausage. Although I didn't get a pepper that time. Let me try 
a bite with tomatoes and the sausage and the rice. It's still hot, don't get me wrong. It's still really, really hot. But it wasn't that initial like, wow. Flavor wise, it's it's good. I do like the sausage. The sausage has a good flavor. Um, if you've ever had like like an andouille, like a New Orleans style, um, like a um, Johnsonville brats, um, if you've ever had one of those, that would remind you of the flavor of the sausage. It's a little more chunky than that. It's not like um, like a casing and stuff, but it's a little more chunky than that. But it's um, it has that similar texture and flavor. The uh, the rice and things like that just add really more of a filler than anything. Um, for me, it's just too hot. Um, I can eat it. I could sit here and eat this whole bowl. My eyes would be watering. My mouth would be in pain, but I could make it through it. Would I want to? No, I wouldn't choose to, to, to go through the, the pain and suffering of eating this hot, this super hot, spicy food. Um, and it's not like, um, I think a lot of it comes from like peppers but I think um, like the green or red pepper, like a habanero pepper or some uh, um, jalapeno or something like that. But um, I think a lot of the spice just comes from a seasoning they put in there. And it's just really paprika or whatever, whatever it may be. It's very, very hot. Um, so overall flavor wise, it's, it's good, but it's just way too hot for me. I'm going to give it a three out of five though, because I do think it's a good quality. It's, I think it would be good and filling. And if you like super hot, crazy people, hot food, then, uh, then you'd really enjoy this because this delivers on the heat. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.